These days, Canadian David St. Jock can't seem to wipe the grin off his face. He's a, he's a smile with legs. Perhaps because he's been dreaming about this since he was six, the first time he saw a picture of the Earth taken from space. It's an old dream that's been on the back of my mind ever since uh, I was a young boy. I mean, I can't remember not fantasizing about it. But he admits he didn't think that dream would actually come true. Instead, he became an engineer, then an astrophysicist, then a doctor working in a remote Inuit community in the north. Along the way, he also became a pilot and learned five languages. I'm one of those people, I'm not alone, who it just annoys me when I don't understand something. I just can't stand it. His childhood friends say they can't stand it either. You have to be really uh, self-confident to be friends with David St. Jacques because he's always gonna be better than you are at almost everything. Then, in 2009, St. Jacques heard the Canadian Space Agency was recruiting. Yeah, it's as if time stopped and I, I kind of felt like I owed it to the little boy in me, to the six-year-old in me, to, to try, to at least, at least give it a shot. After almost a decade of training, he's about to become Canada's man aboard the International Space Station. I mean, it's something I kind of have to pinch myself. St. Jacques will spend six months living aboard the International Space Station, but much of his training here focuses on just a few hours of that mission, the launch and the landing. St. Jacques will co-pilot the Soyuz rocket, so if something goes wrong, he may need to take control. He says manually landing the space capsule feels like trying to hit a bullseye with an elephant on your chest. My baby elephant. <laughs> My first thought was, this must be what it feels like to be in a barrel going over Niagara Falls, only the barrel's on fire. St. Jacques has trained in fire and in water to get used to operating in zero gravity. The key, he says, is prioritizing and multitasking. And his best training for that didn't come from a space center. The closest thing in my life is, is having young children. <laughs> that, you know, it's something you, you need, you want to focus. There are plenty of distractions. You're this physical, you're tired, uh, yet it's a great, amazing joy uh, you have. Uh, but it takes every, like, every brain cell you have. Ground control to Major Tom. St. Jacques hopes to build on the success of Canadian commander Chris Hadfield by sharing his experience through social media and inspiring a new generation of Canadian kids to shoot for the stars. Jeff Sample, Global News, Moscow.